Okay, I um, wanted to try to go public here with uh, one of the reasons that we're working so hard on uh, getting this network deployed in the face of all of the problems we have. Uh, there's a very simple truth here today. Um, we've been bamboozled by people that run the current network, and I want to show you the best way of explaining it to the average people of the world. Uh, to that end, uh, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to open up a, uh, a, a web browser page that has a link from a site called Zello. And uh, of course, I have an account set up there for the purposes of stuff that we're doing for the benefit of veterans. And uh, I, I just uh, wanted to show. Uh, what it is that uh, is of major concern to the accuracy of the data that you're actually looking at on the screen. To that end, uh, this is a walkie-talkie app that lets you share audio. So in essence, uh, this is a radio, okay? And you can record the radio and then restream it. And they'll even host it for you based on what I'm showing you here because it's shared right so my point being uh, from a, a, a computer programmer perspective there's just fields on there okay and uh, th there's embedded objects and there's also counters and all the other stuff that you would put on a domain for it to function so that you could collect as much information about whomever is using your web server as possible because see that's what's really going on in the world and uh, the danger in that is if you have unethical radio guys you have an uh, unethical communication system and if you have unethical banks you have unethical societies because it's always been said that money is the root of all evil. Well, I don't say that. I say that the lack of integrity of people be the problem. And having been pushed as much as I have, I just wanted to show you something that most people don't even think about. We live in a world of social media today where everything is based on hit counts and, and virtual numbers displaying on virtual screens to determine people's wealth determine people's status and, and you're being scammed and you're being scammed by the code not by the people uh, and the code is scrambled and it's my job to unscramble it so that it functions correctly uh, that's what you get paid to do because I'm supposed to deploy a new system uh, so I want you to watch this right here I'm gonna right click on this link and I'm gonna hit copy and then what we're going to do is, is I'm just going to uh, move into this thing. You can play for a couple of minutes. With things that belong. Play for a couple of minutes. Play What's for a couple of minutes. What's my point? Then I'm going to hit stop. And then I'm going to hit refresh. Now it's got five plays there. Okay. Now I'm going to come back over here. And I'm going to paste this thing in here again. Okay. And I'm going to hit enter. And of course it's going to run up there again and see now it's got six plays um, so I, I mean I could sit here and I could do this again as a matter of fact I could write a script that the computer automatically repeats so the way you over think about and, it and it will do it you for you um, so this matters this is Those how the hit count bullshit as to on, uh, these domains that are in the public purview the data on the hit counts for these uh, files and uh, the uh, rating systems that are deployed by the mainstream media and the current content providers is a damn lie. And because that's a lie, everything associated with the monetary situation with it is a lie. And the way that we Bullshit study as to why real is I'm just popping around. And lie, that's why the problem. How it, I'm just spending time. Platform. So what's happening here is People these are counters, right? They so they're based on a time. Everything's based on a time, uh, a number, a clock, uh, 
if you think about your account balance in a bank it's a timer and it's a timer that diminishes based on events supplied against it that's all it is and the timer can be set to whatever rate they say at whatever term they say you say well why does that matter well words that they're listening to let's see i'm going to refresh this and see now it's got seven plays and of course i can come over here and i can do this again okay and uh then i can come in here and i can i can do the same thing again there's four and uh this is about how so we're all being bamboozled does that mean that is a bad place um no reality. because they're giving you control over them. your media um but my point is is the culprit that's making us slaves is a simple number and it's always attached to a bank account and in fact a bank account is just an address in cyberspace and it's typically a string of numbers that always can be converted to binary so to the world uh, there's a sequence of binary that is you and then there's a sequence of binary that is government intervention in you so what we've done is we've uh, moved the pathing for the binary enabled streams of government juridical acts we move that into an automated scenario so that uh there's no room for all of this type of stuff and you get live accounting see there's another one we got eight plays yeah in perspective uh, uh and it's just simply because of a cash scenario there was a security issue on the channel um, and you're able to just keep you keep doing this all day long and uh, over time, see, now you got nine plays. Um, so my point is, Sky, if you believe perfect. anything on this screen, but your people were bitching about Sky, you so we moved you directly, to another platform. You're insane. Uh, and if you sit behind a screen looking at a database controlled by other people, that would mean that they're controlling what you look at. So uh, th this cloud scenario of outsourcing control of your private information it is, it is the pinnacle of insanity. Uh, you're on the world's largest communist network. And I say we're better than that.